Hey you guys, it's Shandera. What is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. And in today's video, we will be trying Dermalogica Invisible Physical Defense SPF 30. So we are going to see what this sunscreen is working with. With that being said, let's go ahead and look up the price. So 1.7 ounces of this sunscreen will run you $54. So this is what it says about this sunscreen it says this is a lightweight physical sunscreen defense that is formulated for all skin types and skin tones and blends easily and layers well under makeup okay Dermalogica we about to see I actually like to swap okay okay Dermalogica we are about to see what this sunscreen is working with with that being said you guys let's go ahead and swatch this product okay, so here we go i'm just gonna use a little bit there we have it um i know that's so little here we go so that is the sunscreen and the swatch of it what do you guys think does this look ashy mm, it's looking a little ashy dermalogica it's looking a little ashy based um so it smells to me like menthol um, like soap it's just a really clean refreshing scent it's not overwhelming it's just really like menthol to me like a light menthol scent I, just, I like it. it it's it's not bad it's not like whoa with that being said let's go ahead it said now this is what it says it says apply liberally to face and neck Preferably 30 minutes prior to sun exposure. So it says I'm apply liberally. So you better not judge me. I'm not gonna apply it liberally because I already know these. This conversation gonna be. Oh my God, you apply apply it. This amount is supposed to go over my whole face and neck to y'all. Y'all be out here wilding. Like how how is this gonna go all over my face? Come on now. Let, let's let's be reasonable with the amounts we use because some of y'all be having cute heads and be sitting here talking about that is that's a that's that's too much that's too much what are you doing i am gonna apply a little bit because this is an expensive product this is 54 dollars, honey i'm not trying to use all my 54 dollar product <laughs> Here we go. Isn't it looking ashy? Oh my god, is it ashy? <laughs> oh my god, I'm looking purple. Why am I looking the color of my shirt? What is going on? <laughs> this is going on. <laughs> oh, I also want to make a disclaimer, you guys. Side note, I had a moisturizer on before I used this. I know some people right now are freaking out. Like, is this getting ashy, girl? I don't know. We about to see. So we are going to rub this in because I am looking really like my shirt. Like, bro, let me turn the light down. Let me turn it <laughs> Well, it's blending in. Okay, I was a little worried. See? Okay, it's going to blend. Oh, I was getting scared. <laughs> I'm just joking, you guys. Because <laughs> I was like, I wore this for like a few months. Why is it getting like this? It didn't do this before. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I've officially rubbed all the sunscreen into my skin. Um, I am going to go ahead and do a close-up. So this is what it looks like. Um, what do you guys think? I rubbed as much as I could. And y'all, it's a lot going on, honey. I'm trying not to be so loud because my neighbor will think I'm talking to myself. He literally thinks I'm having conversations in the house to <laughs> He's a mess. Anyways, you guys. Um, we have a lot to discuss. Here is my cheek. Here is my other cheek. Here is my forehead with the sunscreen. It's been 20 minutes. I wanted to start off with the light really bright so you could see how well it blended in with my skin tone. Okay. I ain't ashy no more. Our purple, look it. <laughs> um, so let me turn the light down. Um, yeah, look it. What do you guys think? Let me get the mirror. Um, okay. It like literally melted. Um, I did use way more than I should and I also had a moisturizer on my face so 
Um, yeah, there are a lot of factors that I had. Like, I literally caked on a moisturizer before I caked this on. And it still did really well with no flakiness. Okay, come through, Dermalogica. Um, we have a lot to discuss um, with this product. So let's talk about it. Okay, you guys, so let's talk about Dermalogica's Invisible Physical Defense SPF 30 and my thoughts on this sunscreen. Um, I like this sunscreen personally. When I use, very first used this sunscreen, um, I had the same reaction that I had with you guys on camera that it was getting really ashy and I was really scared. But as I started rubbing it in and then waiting uh, about 45 minutes before I actually went outside to go play with my daughter, the sunscreen actually literally melted into my skin. Not only that, I actually, you know, Look at you know, sometimes our mom sometimes as moms we do certain things that we shouldn't do But I did put this on my daughter and it worked well with her skin tone too. She was low purple But then we went outside and it looked really great on her too Not to mention we were walking all around the courtyard where we live It was 90 degrees outside and the sun was beaming on us and um, she didn't sweat. She had no sweat in her eyes. She wasn't crying or complaining about it. It didn't make me feel heavy, sweaty, or weighed down. Um, so I genuinely like this. It's really an occlusive SPF in my opinion. Meaning if you actually get a really great toner, a really great nice serum, depending on what you like for your serums, and depending on your cleanser step, you could actually probably use it and probably a little nice water gel moisturizer you could probably actually use this as your occlusive and not even go in with a heavier moisturizer in my opinion if you do decide to get this sunscreen because it's really heavy it's really I don't want to say hydrating but it feels like a very protective sunscreen if that makes sense and it's very heavy so if you're the type of person who likes really sheer really water gel um, or water essence sunscreens this may not be the sunscreen for you especially if you have oily skin maybe acne prone skin this may not be the sunscreen for you um, you guys have to remember I live in Arizona so not only is this a very dry a very arid climate we we, rare, we rarely see humidity. I mean, the humidity level here is probably at like 0.5%. That's how bad it is here. So this uh, feels really nice on the skin to me because of the climate I live in. But I'm assuming if you live in a climate with a lot of humidity, this may weigh you down real quick. So I would think it may be a catch 22 for you or like a 50-50. So please be careful if you live in really humid climates and you decide to use this sunscreen, you may not want to use as much much as I did. Side note, one day that I did use the sunscreen when I was testing it, I used about a, a lot of it. I would say I used, I would say about a tablespoon. Side note, I slathered some of that tablespoon on my daughter. And I will say this, it still melted into my skin. It didn't make me sweat. It didn't feel sweaty and it didn't feel sticky on my face or my hands. I didn't get a metallic taste in my mouth. Um, the scent is a little bit, but that's depending on what are you into. So if you're not really into essential oils, lavender oils, or eucalyptus, the scent may be a little off-putting to you. But if you're really into like lavender, patchouli, you're into those type of scents, and you would love this. I never forget in my job, I used to dash myself in patchouli, and they thought I smelled disgusting. They actually ran and told my boss that I was I was smelling horrible because I was using patchouli, and they didn't like. You know, they like Victoria's Secret stuff. So you know, everyone's different when it comes to scent. If you're more of a Victoria's Secret girl, a Bath and Body girl, then this may not be the sunscreen for you because I'm telling you right now, it smells like menthol to me and it has like a little hints of lavender. And let me look at the ingredient list just to be sure if they did or did not let add lavender oil be because I forgot to do that before. Let me find the box. Hold on, let me look at the box. <laughs> Actually, you know what, you guys? It does have lavender oil. It says lavender flower oil in this, and it has eucalyptus oil in this. So, yeah, you guys, please. It actually has sodium hyaluronic in this, too. Okay, come through, Dermalogica. Um, with that being said, yeah, you guys. So, if you don't like essential oils in your sunscreen, this may not be the sunscreen for you, but it's really not a bad sunscreen. Side note, I do want to say this. I 
actually, now you know I tell you guys not to wear AHAs when you go out in the sun, right? So one day, <laughs> I was actually testing an AHA and I actually, I had to go out. Well, like we had to go out. So literally, I slathered globs of this on my skin and it melted right into my skin. It was one of those days I used way too much again, like a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half because I had an HA on my face and I was scared that something was going to happen. And I kid you not, this works really well. Like nothing happened. I was okay. I was fine. I didn't even get a tan. Like I thought I was going to get a tan or something. I didn't even get a tan. So you know what? Dermalogica, you're really, I really like this sunscreen. But I will say, like I did mention, I want to reiterate this point. This is a gray skin sunscreen, but it's not for all skincare types. And the climate you are in, you really have to be careful with. If you're in an arid, dry climate, arid, hot, dry climate, like here is 90 degrees right now. We are not even in summer and it's just really hot. Then you will like this uh, sunscreen. However, if you are in a very humid climate, like maybe I would say Louisiana, like states like that where it gets really humid and you're sweating, this will be one of them sunscreens where maybe you need to like mist and use like a little bit, like a quarter teaspoon for your whole face, but that would be pointless. So maybe you should get like a water gel sunscreen or like a water essence sunscreen. This sunscreen is really heavy. It's more like an occlusive sunscreen. So I think if you had, depending on your skin type, depending on your climate, you have to be really careful with this sunscreen, but it's a great sunscreen overall. And especially if you live here in like Arizona or like a desert climate, I think you would really enjoy this sunscreen. I had no sweating issues and my daughter was literally playing in the sun, like the 90 degree sun. And she was fine with it. It didn't do anything to her. Her cheeks were a little rosy, but that's because she was in the sun. Other than that, she was totally fine. And she had like the little purple white cast I had too as well. And I was really worried she was going to be looking a mess. And it was just... It worked well for her. So, I mean, I don't put it on her all the time. It was just we had to go, and I didn't have time to go find her sunscreen. So, I just used this one. So, please don't dislike this video and make me feel bad for just putting it on. It, it didn't really have bad ingredients, and she didn't have any reaction to it. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. I'm so happy she did it. With that being said, you guys, those are my thoughts on this sunscreen. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this sunscreen? Have you tried this sunscreen? Do you like it? I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video. And make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in our next video. Bye, you guys. Mwah.